And the next part of uh, the preparation phase of wind-up mechanics would be what we call the rocker step. Uh, the extremes in the rocker step. First of all, how we went, our foot position when we take the stance, we like to have the ball of the foot to be just in front of the rubber. Or if I had cleats on, uh, the three cleats would be in front of the rubber from my dry foot, which in my case is my left foot. I want to be comfortable. I want my knees flexed when I'm taking my sign. I don't want to create tension uh, before I even start my delivery. Uh, then the next phase of that would be the rocker step. Again, the primary reason for a rocker step is to get a pitcher into his rhythm. Uh, the extremes in the rocker step would be to step straight sideways, uh, parallel to the rubber, and the other extreme would be to step straight back. What we encourage here at Cal State Fullerton is uh, a, a direction between the two. We like to teach a 45 degree angle, so it's not a 90 degree angle in either direction. We split the two and the weight goes from the ball of the foot to the heel of my dry foot and back to the heel of my uh, stride foot. My knees are again flexed. I think the most important thing with the rocker step is the distance involved. I don't want to get exaggerated as far as how far away I get from the rubber. Again, all this is creating is rhythm with a 45 degree angle. When my hands get to the top, of what, whatever they do. If I'm a full wind-up guy, when my hands get to the top, that is the point that I'm going to drop my foot in and, and create that solid foundation. Okay? The, the critical fundamental with the rocker step, again, is not to get too far away. And what we use as a, uh, an indication of that is the top of the pitcher's head. We uh, try to instruct them and keep them uh, with the top of their hat over their dry foot. So no matter how far away I step, I want to keep my, f my head over my dry foot. So with a 45 degree angle, again, I'm, I'm keeping my head over my dry foot. What that will allow me to do is get into my balance position without uh, swaying back and forth this way and using my abs to create balance. So, with the drop step, I keep my head over my dry foot, and then when I get into my leg lift, my head doesn't have to move back and forth. Again, if a pitcher is shown uh, great athletic ability and he's uh, able to do that and keep balance and be consistent, then we may not change him. Okay. When does the foot drop in? When my hands are at the top point of my delivery. So if I'm a half wind-up guy, then my foot drops in. Again, to show you the whole thing, I get my, my sign, my gloves north and south, my hands come together, I'm ready to start the wind-up phase, 45 degrees, my foot drops in, then I go into the delivery phase of the balance point.